my next guest is Ryan Pickering from California. Um, he has been working in the solar industry for the last 12 years and just recently changed his mind about nuclear power. Hört ihr das, Deutschland? Wir haben hier jemand, der zwölf Jahre in der Solarindustrie in Kalifornien gearbeitet hat, der Anti-Atomkraft, also der Atomkraftgegner war und jetzt sagt, es geht nicht ohne. Solarenergie reicht nicht. Ryan Pickering. Hello Berlin. My name is Ryan Pickering and I have traveled here from California to speak with you today. As I mentioned, I have been working in solar energy for the last 12 years. When I was in university, I studied Germany's power grid and Germany was the example. They said, look, we can power a whole country on wind, solar, batteries and hydro. And this was 15 years ago. And I raised my hand and I said, ah, but solar doesn't work at night and the wind doesn't always blow. And my professor, Mark Z. Jacobson, said that we'll just build batteries and we'll build more hydro and it'll work. And another one of my classmates said, what about nuclear? And they said, it's too dangerous and we don't need it. Well, 15 years later, I have been studying the American power grid and I can tell you, we need nuclear energy. So six months ago, I was reading about California's last power plant, Diablo Canyon Power Plant, and there we are planning to close it in California after we have closed all of our other nuclear energy plants. And on that day, six months ago, I changed my mind about nuclear energy. And I said, no, we, we need this. And so I quit my job in solar energy, and I've been working on nuclear energy in California ever since. Thank you. And so I come to Germany now as once a student of, of Germany's power good and I still appreciate what Germany has done. Germany is a leader of the world. Some of the smartest people are here. And for you to change your mind on nuclear energy shows that the world can change our minds. It is not easy to say that you are wrong. In this world, we're told that we have to be right all the time. But I can tell you, I was wrong. But I learned and I listened and so many people here today have helped me understand this. And so all of us can be luminaries for Germany and the world to change our mind about nuclear energy and to embrace this healing energy that can power not just the West but the whole world. We can share clean energy with the world and end energy poverty and solve the climate crisis all at once. I know it is scary sometimes. I was handing out flyers last night and people were saying, oh, I don't want that, oh, I don't want that. But at the same time, we must persevere. We must push through because we know that we have the answer to our problems. And if we can all come together and continue to lead, I know we can change the world's mind. I want to thank everyone who's come here. I want to thank you all for your leadership and I encourage you to continue our path towards a brighter, cleaner, more equitable future. Thank you, Berlin. <laughs> California stays with you, and we will keep our last nuclear power plant open, and we will build new ones. We'll all do this together. This is a global movement. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ryan, for coming to Germany and speaking out.